Well, hello. Thanks for coming back to check out another video. So we are here today to do an introduction to the project level up. This was of course created by Sophie Alexandra. I will make sure to have her link down below and in the cards above. So just in case you missed her introduction video, you don't know what this is, let me just give you a quick rundown. She came up with this project pan to focus on eyeshadows and it is genius, let me just say. So it kind of like combines pan in every palette, pan those eyeshadows, no pan left behind, and it makes it, to me, more approachable and to where you will get more use out of your palette as a whole. So the idea is that I have two palettes in my lap, so we'll just use this for an example. So the idea is that you would randomize your palette and it's your level one palette. So for this, for instance, with the It's Freaking Bats palette, there's nine shades in here. So level one, you use every shade in here one time and then you also hit pan on one shade. Then for level two, it's use every shade two times, hit pan on two shades. Level three, use every shade three times, hit pan on three shades, all the way up to level five. Now Sophie did say that you could continue on past five, so you could do like level six, level seven, level eight, level whatever you wanted. She just herself personally is going to reset herself back down to level one after she gets to level five. She does randomize her palette. Um, I just think that this is going to be so much fun. Like it's, like I said, it's a really good way to hit pan on some eyeshadows, really get some good love in there. You get to choose what shadows you want to hit pan on. So I like that part of it too. But then also it's not just that you're like zeroing in and focusing in on just one particular shade and kind of like neglecting the rest of the palette. So I will of course leave her introduction video down below just in case and like all the rules and everything like that. I highly recommend that you go check that out. Um, I will also leave, I've seen a few other people post introductions for this as well. And so I will leave their videos down below just so that you can have a lot of fun and find like easy content to binge. So the reason that I have this palette and my other palette in my lap is because I did want to say, since I'm starting this as a new project pan, these two palettes I already have both in my deck of panning. So the Frosty Flamingo palette from Sugar Drizzle, I have this in for like a random color generator. So this shade down here, I am trying to use 22 times in order to meet my goal for that. So I don't want to roll this palette into this project while I'm working on it in deck of panning. Once I'm finished with it in deck of panning, I would have no problem rolling it into this project. So that is that why this palette is here. And then my It's Freaking Bats palette uh, that they did with, uh, or that Batty Bean did with Shroud Cosmetics. This is actually also in my deck of panning. And this is the palette I got the prompt for um, to represent another project pan. So the project pan I went with is this one, the project level up. Um, at the time of filming the deck of panning, I was like on the fence if I wanted to do an eyeshadow project pan or not. And I just, I, I can't quit thinking about it. You know what I mean? And I'm having so much fun like using this palette. So I figured why not? Let's just do it for real. So this palette, much like with the Frosty Flamingo, I just wanna focus on it in my deck of panning project pan. And then once I meet my goals with it in that project, it will be eligible to be rolled into this project. So I did put all of my palettes into the like little tiny decisions app. And that's what we'll use to randomize our palette. Is there anything else that I wanted to say? Yes, there was two other things that I wanted to say. So I don't think Sophie has like an end date personally for this for herself. What I'm thinking I would like to do is work on every palette that I own within this project. So I don't know, is that gonna take a year? Is it gonna take a year and a half, nine months? Like. I don't know, but I just think that would be really fun. This is a great way to like spread the love through my collection. So then the other thing, like if we roll in a palette through this project and then I'm going to take it off of my tiny decisions app, that way we're making sure that we're actually trying to touch all of our palettes and there's no repeat ones. The only two exceptions, like I said, would be that for this first go around, these two palettes are not eligible because I am working on them in another project. And if I roll in eyeshadows into other projects um, as well, like throughout the year, then at that time, those palettes won't be eligible either. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so then I think what I'm gonna do, 
since this is my only eyeshadow project pan and the way Sophie is doing hers is that she's just she rolled in her level one palette and then she'll roll in her level two palette once she completes her goals on her level one but like I said I don't have any other like eyeshadow panning projects going on and I'm finding like while I'm having a lot of fun playing with whatever palette I want I almost feel like a little bit overwhelmed when I go to like sit down and do my makeup like I there's almost too many to select from. I mean, I guess that that should show you I don't need any more palettes, but I kind of like having that structured, like these are the palettes that I'm using right now to hit goals on. And then, you know, I use those, like I do my makeup six to seven times a week. So if I like use my focus items that I'm working on five times, then I feel like, oh, I can play around and like treat myself to other palettes, you know? So that's how this makes sense in my head. Um, so what I'm trying to get at in a long winded way is to tell you, I think what I want to do is roll in my level one and my level two palette. I know Laura did hers that way. So it just makes the most sense to me. And then that way I can be working on both of those. And then by the time we go to update this in March, I should have some really good progress for you guys. So without any further rambling, let me get my tiny decisions app pulled up. All right, so I have it pulled up. Hopefully you will be able to see the shade name or the palette name. So I'm just gonna hit this a few times. Eh, I'm so nervous, so nervous. Oh, our level one palette is the Natasha Denona Retro. Oh, I'm really excited. That is a big palette. That is a 15 pan palette. Let's roll for the second palette though, and then I will go grab those and we will. I will bring them to you and we will talk about them. The Warrior was not, ex I really thought it was going to land on the Tribe and I was going to be super excited, but I still like the Juvia's Place, the Warrior palette. So like I said, I'm going to go grab the Retro and the Warrior and I will be right back. Okay, I'm so excited. I'm so glad I did this. This is a sign because I got two palettes that are really good palettes. Like they're, they're favorite palettes. You know what I mean? So the first one for our level one will be the Natasha Denona Midi Retro palette. The packaging, like the front of this is super reflective. So I'm going to try to not blind you with this, but this is what this palette looks like on the inside. I am still, you guys, playing around with like the lighting in this room and, you know, have the window and the ring light. So if the colors look a little bit washed out, then I'm very sorry about that. But this is a 15 pan palette, like I said. So my goal is going to be to use every shade in here one time and then hit pan on one shade. So the shade that I kind of want to tell you that I want to hit pan on is this shade Rebellion right here, but this is a cream to powder shadow. So I feel like that would be cheating just a little bit because those cream to powder shadows, it's a much more like malleable formula. So it's just easier to hit pan on those in my opinion. So I think I'll probably go with one of the shimmer shades. I might take the month to just like play around that way. I make sure I'm not committing myself to a shade that I don't really really enjoy you know since you are trying to pan it but if i had to pick one now just to give you guys an idea i would probably go with helio that is one of my favorite shades within this palette so i can at least give you a swatch of helio and i do have like a pretty good dip in that shade so this could potentially be the shade that i want to pan for this level one project so yeah there's our level one all right, so then the level two palette that we got is the Warrior by Juvia's Place. So the background on this is going to be a little bit reflective when I bring it in to show you guys. But this is a really pretty, oh, just fall dreams honey palette. Like I've been saying, this is the Urban Decay Naked Honey before Urban Decay Naked Honey. So the idea with this one, it's a nine pan palette, but I will have to use every shade in here twice and then hit pan on two shades. I have hit pan on Juvia's Place mattes in my Festival palette and in the Tribe palette. The, it wasn't the worst, but it did take longer than I would imagine hitting pan in a shimmer shade. But since I do have to hit two pans in this palette, I'm almost tempted if I should do a matte and a shimmer. But see, here's the thing. I don't want to like cheat because my, my obvious choice to hit pan on a matte shade would be this like matte cream. You guys know, like I plow through those and eat those like, like it's nothing. Um, let me know if you think that would be cheating. If I did decide to hit pan on the matte cream and a shimmer, or do you think I should just do two of the shimmers? 
I don't know, you let me know what you're thinking, but one of the shadows that I absolutely love in here is this bottom golden shade here, Bakwa, I think is the name of it. Yeah, I will at least swatch this one out for you guys. It is just this really pretty honey gold shade. You can see it under Helio. That would honestly probably make like a really pretty combination to pair those two together. Ooh, pairing this with the retro, that's gonna be a lot of fun. I've never thought to do that before. Um, so then my other like second favorite shade as far as shimmers go within this palette, it's a toss up between this one and this one. I think I would go with this top one here as like my other shimmer shade. This and this are kind of very similar, but this is like a lighter version. So I will just go ahead and swatch that out just so you guys have an idea of like some of the shades that we're potentially thinking of like hitting pan on, you know? I would close this palette it probably wouldn't glare so much and you could actually like see things so but yeah I hope you guys are excited I'm excited like I said I feel like I'm forgetting something so everything is going to be in the description box for you in case you have a question or a comment of course Sophie's video will be in there her intro video and her channel and like I said anyone else that I find that is doing this if you are doing this project though let me know because I would love to come and check it out it has just been it's just so creative and so fun that I've just enjoyed like watching all of the content of this that I can find. So that would be really um, exciting. But yeah, I hope you guys are having a good day, a good night, or a good whatever, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.